So this was the point in our previous episode where Eureka was having a tough time climbing up uh, and going towards our sawmill from the freight depot. I searched around and the reason why this is happening is this track goes from a flat 0% to 2 to 2.5% in just one single go. If you see here, uh, the curve at this point, it just shoots all the way up and continues. So welcome to the channel. I am the Storm King and you're watching Trail Roads Online. So let's get on with our repairs. Let's see what we can accomplish by the end of this. So what I want to do is repair this particular piece of track. Uh, reason being that here it has to go up and we have no choice here. Or maybe uh, turn little more towards the inside go this way shoot between these two hills and then again turn around and line up with our sawmill uh, the log ponds so i'm at the sawmill so this is the track that we would like to align to you can see it's a little above the ground here and maybe we can use a wider curve make it a uh, little more lower and closer to the ground and another thing that I would like to do here, a few more repairs is to fix this particular thing. So like there's a straight switch and then it's suddenly just jumping to the right side. And same goes here. It's a kink. It just goes there. Then there's a dip in the track and it goes straight ahead. And then there's a two, one to, two to three degree climb again to the logging camp. So all this and also the height here, I do not like this. Uh, so I want to fix this, make this closer to the unloading bay here so that we don't lose out on the logs. So if you remember in the previous episodes, we lost uh, quite a number of logs while unloading here. So probably they were just despawned before they hit this uh, deck and we used to lose out on the cache. So I'll try to make a few repairs here, get this closer to the ground and also get rid of this bridge and make this closer to the ground. So hopefully this should make a half degree incline all the way up to our sawmill and make life a lot more easier for Eureka. So first I'm going to start with demolishing everything all the way around here and I have a copy of the cane. So in case it gets too bad, I can just revert back to the save file and get things out. So first I'll remove this stuff here. So I've cleared out all the tracks and the groundwork from around the sawmill. We just have this stone wall going all the way up to our logging camp. Um, yeah so now this is as it would have been at the beginning of the game with nothing out here so let's put some small height groundworks here and go straight up and then we'll turn towards our left to the left and around the hill turn towards the left and connect to the line that we left at the beginning of the second hill after the gap First, let's start with some groundwork. Give it some height so that yeah, I think this much should be good. So there we go. The groundwork is aligned pretty well. And uh, let's get the alt button. And that should keep it at a constant grade. Okay, so at this point it goes right into the ground. So yeah, I think we need we can turn it a little to the left on that way and then join back in. So first let's clear this out. Here, select groundworks. Uh, 
let's take a variable grid connect roughly in the middle lay a spot and then we'll hold on all the snapshot and then we can turn uh, keep the grid same and increase our curve radius so this is about the length of a track 3 and 5 we should be good So as you can see we've hit it correctly let's reduce it back to 3 degrees and straighten it out I'm gonna start with a stone wall let's take a variable create select here let's put in a point to the all thing and let's again start curving this time to the left with three degrees this ends about here so this should be the length of the track and after two sections we can increase it to five okay so the whole thing is a uh, disaster with the curve going here okay, so it looks like we need a much sharper curve than what we had before let's clear this all out and this one's the last no there's one small piece here so one more thing we'll need to look forward look for is this uh, is extending this towards our logging camp so i guess a switch here should be good yeah this is a straight piece so here should be good okay so now let's continue with our stone wall so this curve here also has also run into the hill here and by a bit so let's see if we can use some of this side maybe this particular height here and uh, get it at a zero level so now where was the starting point so that's there so all this part it's under the ground and it meets about here so let me take off this particular piece so that I can walk under it so if we make this curve it should allow us to travel this way but it again goes okay so let's see if it will go into the ground from here so it will go into the ground all the way until yep all the way till here it's like a shallow hill so I guess even making a sharp turn this way or forcing the train to turn this way might not help and what we need to do is take a gradient maybe a few degrees a half a quarter degree 
um, climb up above this hill to say about uh, this point and then from here on we'll have to make a descent and connect to our existing groundworks around there so we are almost there what i did was i took the curve all the way between uh, the two hills and made it kind of an s bend so what's happening now is that if we extend this uh, we still need to turn this a little more towards the left but another question is the height so if i check i think we are going a little above the tracks uh, so i guess towards the end in this last uh, straight if we turn it towards the left, align it and reduce the height, it should be good. So uh, I'll not clear this out, let's just keep this for reference. I think this should be a good place to start. So I'll select the crown works variable stone wall this time. And let's check if I've got the center uh, almost a little to the left. yeah so this should be good so let's give it a little bit of a straight hold on alt and then let's turn towards the left so let's give it a three degree curve since it's a straight uh, i think we can start reducing the height so let's say a quarter percent and if I take it straight down okay so the offset is still there so I guess a one percent or maybe a little bit now when I lay the tracks it's not going to be exactly as this uh, it will not be the same probably not aligned so well but let's still try make this zero oops I'm going straight down I can hear my Eureka so let's see where will this merge into the ground So that's about the point. Uh, okay, so now let's clear out the groundwork from underneath. Okay, so I've cleared out all the trees from our groundwork and I'm back at the sawmill. So let's clear out these two trees and then we can start with our tracks from here all the way up to our uh, predator. So I'll start with a crossover here and try to get it as straight as possible. So let's get this closer about here. Um, that's one and select another crossover and put it here so now this is a bit cross cross as in the track is not parallel to this platform so what's going to happen is that it will end up going into the oh it will start going over the platform so i'll start here and maybe move it a bit towards the left so I hope this should do 
So this is one. Let's have another crossover here. So that's about half. So this sleeper is about half in. This is half in. Uh, let's see if it can continues for another two more crossovers. Okay, I think we got it straight. So let's just check this to the end. Okay, I think it sounds good. So let's come back. Um, leave two crossovers and then from here we'll start our track on to the other end so i think i got two crossovers this is one two more press all so that we have a straight line and as long as this takes us let's just build the track to the end here And I'll demolish this starting groundwork that I had put on before. So this is looking much more aligned. Let's clean out the crossovers. And then using the last two crossovers, let's continue on. In fact, I can think I can just use with once because this will connect all the way straight to the end. And with this, let's connect to our red bow. Okay, so I have laid this piece of track by hand because I think I might have made the curve sections a little too short. So, so far it looks a pretty constant and smooth curve. So I think I can just continue this on but before that let me put in the switch here so that it looks complete. I'll put this down here. This should leave some gap here. So I'll delete this and connect the rail from here. Do the switch so that aligns and same goes from here i think i need to delete one section <coughs> select this crop it out and then turn this slightly inwards and there we go so this curve should now look good it kind of makes an s but uh, it looks good okay so here we are at the other end let's start with uh, before a crossover i'm thinking of having a switch here so i'll just place this for reference yeah let's get that there <coughs> remove the switch uh, go back take this and put a switch to the left so later on i can build a uh, a direct route towards the logging camp so with that it will also give us the added benefit that later on if we need cordwood to be supplied it should be easy <coughs> uh, you know like we can just take the train up this path uh, where is it yeah so we'll just take the train from the other side go up all the way from here turning left towards our locking camp uh, fill up on the log uh, cordwood and come back here starting from here let's go a little to the left sorry right correct this here and this piece here okay it still looks just as bad so let's take out the last two pieces and this time I'll connect it out from here.
so yeah <clears throat> this looks a lot better so now what I'm going to do is put two more crossovers here one here and second one here then we'll connect our rails uh, starting from this now there'll be one piece that is empty so that's fine we'll fix it up and now let's just correct this a little bit one cent should be good make this back to zero and let's continue so i'm back at the freight depot and i think this episode is getting a little longer than what i intended it to be so what i'm going to do is i will take eureka out for a spin in the next episode and check out the tracks so the tracks are all ready and laid out all the way till our sawmill and i am sure you will definitely love to see it i've made a few more changes to the track than before so for now i'll end this episode here and i'll see you all in the next episode until then please do hit the like share and subscribe buttons please put on your comments in the comment section below and i'll see you in our next video so until then, goodbye, good luck and thank you for watching till the end.